Why don't you guys uh, tell me, like, what's... Uh... Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'll show you. I, I was working on it a little bit earlier. I'll show you what I was doing. So, the idea was to just go ahead and start rendering some of this stuff. I don't like how it looks sort of like clay, almost. I'm not crazy about that. Hey, Sorrow. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, so, I'm going to see if one of the things I can figure out on this session is how to get it to look more like this thing I did, where it looks sort of more shiny. Uh, I don't have any highlights on right now on any of these things, but I'm going to see if I can figure out how to uh, how to make that happen and make it look good. Uh, I haven't really ever tried that before, um, so we'll have to see. Uh, but I think I'll spend a little bit of time working on these other uh, other tentacles here and see if I can make them a little more smooth. Maybe go ahead and render those out most of the way, and then we'll see how I'm feeling about the highlight situation. So let's see what needs some work. Um, I could work up here. This obviously needs a lot of work. Uh, I could try to finish up this guy. Oh, it's freezing. Okay. That's not cool. I wonder why that is. Um, well, sorry about that. I don't actually know what to do to fix it. So, yeah, I can see that I'm dropping frames. I think, I think my computer is uh, not quite handling it as well as it ought to. Um, So that's not cool, but let's see if the recording comes out okay. It could be that. It could be that I'm trying to record at the same time. Um, so yeah, it's running smoothly now. So tell me by the time uh, the latency catches up if if it starts getting choppy again. I'll, I'll start doing stuff. Because um, it very well could be that. But we'll see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, let's work on this area because I like it, but it's not looking perfect right now. So I just want to add a little bit of a shadow right there so that I can show a little more easily that this is coming forward. Ooh, I'm starting to feel the lag on, on my side, actually. That's interesting. Oof. Yeah, I can feel that chugging. Well, I might have to figure out a, a better way to do this. We'll see. But until so you guys say something, I'll assume it's at least uh, somewhat, somewhat okay. So that looks a bit better. Uh, let's, maybe, we can. Let's try to do something a little different. Let's add like a little bit of a crease right here. I think maybe that's what I'm missing, is a little bit more uh, detail on this piece. I'm gonna head to bed. Uh, probably not. I'm not really feeling super tired right now. Um, past couple nights I've not been sleeping well anyway. You probably aren't. Okay, well don't feel obligated to stick around at all. Uh, I am going to record this anyway, so if you feel like you want to you know, stick around and see something, that's cool, but yeah, I'm not going to be offended at all if you want to jet, because I know it is late. But I will talk to, I'll talk to Jiggy about putting this up somewhere so you guys can check it out. I think this might be uh, something I do more often, maybe. I think it's really fun.
also oops, a bit much. Smoothing the stuff out a little bit. I think adding some of this detail, some of these creases, is going to help kind of make this thing look a little more interesting. Yeah, you think I should start an art channel, eh? Um, you know, I had actually never thought about it, but that could be fun. Cassie, uh, what do you mean by this is an interesting uh, type of art stream? I'm curious what you mean, just because uh, I, I don't really watch a lot of other streamers, so I'd be curious to know what exactly you mean by that. this. We'll get in there real tight and because I just want to see how this looks. If I render it out. Oh, too much. Oh and I've got a got a bad color for smoothing. Let's put something closer to this. Something like that. And smooth that part out a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a highlight on here and see Actually, instead of making that just lighter, let's just make it more intense pink and keep that saturation. Because I think that'll look better. <laughs> I kind of miss having a dog, actually. When, when people talk about them doing cute stuff like that, I used to have a dog. But anymore, a bit more of a cat person. Yeah, more commentary type stuff, and uh, less unfocused. Yeah, I know what you mean, actually, now that I think about it. It does seem like it's, which, which I totally understand, uh, it seems like people tend to lose their train of thought quite a lot. Um, but I would, I think it'd be really neat if, uh, if you guys had questions and stuff about what I was doing. I really like being able to try and explain, because uh, I think it helps me understand. better kind of what I'm attempting to do if I'm talking about it. But I think that actually might, might be looking pretty good. Let's see. Oh, you like both cats and dogs. I was wondering what you meant as well. So that doesn't really quite show up, and it's sort of really high contrast. It's sort of distracting. So I'm not sure I actually like that too much. Maybe we can just uh, indicate a little bit of a shadow on it. And leave it at that. Because once you zoom all the way out, that detail just gets completely lost. Uh, hmm. Oh, Laura, hey. Welcome. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I like the idea of it sort of wrinkling in places. Maybe I just need to make it more exaggerated so it'll show up. But of course, you know, we've got all this mess up here to deal with as well. Uh, to do all the rest of this stuff. Um, man. So it may not be worth adding too much in the way of uh, really fine detail right now until I know what I'm doing with all that. So I think I'll quit distracting myself and I'll work on this which is mostly sort of worked out I just kind of need to smooth parts of it out so maybe I'll yeah including the circle hands right man hands are so tough though like I'm obviously procrastinating on it pretty badly because I do not want to deal with it
Yeah. You know, and it's funny because uh, I feel like I can do most of the body pretty well by now, but hands still totally escape me time after time. Like, it's one of those things where uh, they're just kind of complicated and their proportions are pretty specific. Uh, so if you planned your sketch well and you're really paying attention to what your proportions ought to be, I think uh, hmm. I, I think it should be straightforward. At least I feel like I feel guilty, like I wasn't paying enough attention maybe, and that's why I get stuck in the situation I do. But who you knows? So I think I'm going to try the same thing over here again. You know, honestly, uh, maybe it doesn't need a highlight anyway. I do want it to look more slick than what it does, because I think that would be kind of a neat effect. I think it sort of be, uh, I don't know what you want to call that, a little slimy looking maybe. Uh, the study I did, right, it seemed to have like this sort of goo hanging off it, which is cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to go quite that far, but we'll see. That's kind of what I like about painting, though. Uh, it's just really... For me, anyway, it's... <laughs> There's not a lot of planning involved uh, ahead of time. I just sort of wing things, because I don't really know what I'm doing. And uh, it doesn't make for good painting, but it does... Uh, it, it's a nice time. Smooth that back out. Oof, this is getting muddy. Maybe we'll leave it at just one. One little fold right there might do the trick. Yeah, learning about art, you say? Explain. Tell me more. I don't know what to talk about right now. I, I, this is kind of boring. <laughs> At least I imagine it probably is. set myself up pretty good over here, why don't we flush this out a bit. I did, Crystal, that wolf thing you did, um, the scratch board, I actually tried one of those when I was a kid, I remember way, way long ago, it was a copper plate, and uh, man, I, I could not get that thing to look right at all, so I was very impressed to see that you had, uh, had made it turn out as good as you did. I'm curious if that's something you've done. Uh, oh, Fox even, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm curious, is that something you, is that you, you know, you've done that a couple times, you've got some experience with it, or do you just kind of like pick it up one day and say, you know, try it out? Yeah, I, I really like the way the, the light's working on this right now. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can keep that. I don't want to take too much of that, uh, the brush stroke this out of that. Which I tend to be really bad about. I tend to just want to make everything ultra smooth. But in reality, I this probably looks cooler. Uh, having sort of the blocky uh, strokes that you can sort of see and then maybe smoothing this together just slightly. Yeah, see, messed it up. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, you've been painting for quite a while. That's really cool. You might have to give me some tips then, because, uh, man, I don't, I don't really think I know what I'm doing, necessarily.
chalk and oil pastels too. And again, that's just one of those things that I never really figured out, so very impressive. I think I got given a bunch when I was a kid one time and probably just like mashed them up or did something dumb. Didn't use them very well. Like I said before, I mean, I never really got super interested in being any good at this kind of thing until fairly recently. So. Would not at all seem to be uh, skilled at most of the sort of classical art stuff. Now, I've got a bit of a weird thing happening here. I don't know if you guys see it. Let's see if I can point it out. So I've got this darker line right here and this hard edge, and it's sort of making this situation happen where this thing is getting really flat looking. Um, I think it's because I'm messing up my light source. So I'm going to see if I can figure that out real quick. Uh, also, this angle might be wrong as well. It might need to be something more like that. Like where these two squish together and then comes up. You might need to have more of that kind of indication happening. But I'm going with a direct, directly from above uh, light source. So that's going to hit all over the top of this stuff. I've marked this shape out as the top right now. Um, but maybe that's not what I want. Because I want this to face sort of... I want it to go further back in space, this tip area. So, something like that. Where it's going away from the... From what we're from where we're standing in the image. Um, so what do I need to do? So the lighting's actually not wrong. Once I put the lines on it, it's not you know, it's not great. Uh, it's probably not. I shouldn't say right, but it's not 100% wrong either. So that makes me think. Oh, I should get rid of those first. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think I should try to shade it out a bit more. Yeah, but see, that's the problem I was having, is as I add more shadow to it, it implies that this we're looking at it, like, this way. And that it's uh, perpendicular to our viewing area. Which is not quite what I was looking for. So I think it's this line here, actually, that, that's being suggested. I think, actually... Hmm. Yeah, because if it was facing away from us... Yeah, okay. I think I think that was the problem. It's facing away from us, so really we shouldn't be able to see this curve on the bottom side here, because it should be hidden up by this thing. It should be covered. And then when we go to add shadow, it needs to be just here. And... The whole thing is going away from us. Hmm. Something's still not quite right. Oh, uh, I think maybe this middle tone is getting lost. There we go, that was it. Okay, so the problem was, right, this light was coming down, like this big pink spot. Um, I was, I was making it seem like there's a lot of light covering this whole section, uh, right here. And so that was forcing the whole angle uh, towards our right more, instead of following one single thrust towards the background. So. To fix that, I needed to bring my mid-tone back through the sort of mid-purpley type thing. And once I did that, um, it reinforced this notion that it's it's almost like a, a cube-type shape in reality. Like it's got a top and you know a side and a bottom kind of thing, which is supposedly how the uh, 
how the old great master types did everything. And I think uh, I have a lot to learn still about rendering forms, uh, obviously, if I'm making mistakes like that. But that's part of why I like painting it. I don't feel like I have to be good at it. It's not frustrating if I'm, if I'm making mistakes because I feel like I'm just learning, which is part of the fun of doing something new that you're not necessarily good at. So then, there we go. So then where does that line? Actually, you know what? I think I was right before. I think this does need to come down more because, here, let's do this. Let's just color over this whole thing so I quit thinking about it for a minute. And then uh, we'll try it again. Still got my sketch lines, I think, yeah. So that looked right before. Let's try that to start with and then see if it's still being weird. So I have this curve here and these meet. So this needs to be somewhat compressed. Yeah, yeah, I, I can never learn to paint on, a, <laughs> on an actual canvas. I feel like that'd be so much harder. Plus, then you have to know about all sort of the chemical problems involved with, like, you know, all the different oil painting stuff. I've heard horror stories about, you know, mixing things wrong and then uh, next thing you know, you've ruined the piece. Uh, so, I'll stay away from that. Besides this, you know, never run out of paint, doesn't cost anything. It's a nice, nice way to relax. Nice, easy hobby. So I think that looks closer to right. But I keep kind of going back and forth thinking, you know, it should be this, it should be that. Oh yeah, you ruined pieces a couple times too. I, I don't know how I would deal with that. I feel like that would be really depressing. Hmm, <laughs> okay. I think maybe that was an issue I was having as well. Perhaps not. Uh, if I'm saying this is a cube thing, then that doesn't make any sense. Because I've got these shapes here. Okay, okay, we're going to science this. We're going we're gonna to do some visual algebra real quick. Okay, so i got box one. And box two. Uh, hmm. Hmm. And then box three should be something more. Well, it's, hmm. it's kind of cone, not a box. We'll chalk it up to that, maybe. Yeah, I think I think this ought to be down here. Yeah, trying to paint or draw with a mouse is just impossible, and and to me, you're you're never going to make good lines. Just it's not, it doesn't fit with the mechanics of your arm at all. So I don't see how anybody could make that work. I mean, I've heard, you know, I've seen some examples of some people doing it, but man, I I wouldn't think it'd be worth the trouble. Okay, those lines on there, that's starting to seem more correct. I might just be stuck in. Let's pull back. Maybe that shadow is creeping up too much. I push that back down. And then I push the light back up a bit. That seems to line up better now. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that one alone because eh, I'm just kind of flip-flopping back and forth. Uh, I'll do a quick smooth pass from here, because otherwise I'll be distracted. Yeah, try new things, man. Try and pottery, photography. Yeah, that's all really cool. I I would like to try out photography, but it's just such a investment to get a, a decent camera. You know, it's kind of out of my price range at the moment. What with being a ramen eating student and all. 
but uh, actually, my my wife was really into pottery when she was in school. She had a couple pottery classes uh, that she had available to her, and she I think she was pretty good. Um, but man, you know, we we were talking about that at one point too. Of like, what what would it take to own a throwing wheel and maybe have that? you know, in our domicile. Holy crap. Super expensive. Huge hassle. Which is a bummer, because she was super into it. But, you know, she talked about maybe trying to hook up with uh, some local peeps who, who do that, so who knows? That could still be an option. I hope so. She seems to really like it. The clay is super expensive, too, right? And then you figure you get into the, the glazes. She was always talking about how you, you gotta mix all these crazy glazes, and Man, I like me some nice, simple digital painting. It takes not that much skill, not that hard, I don't think. You know, if you've already got rendering skills and drawing, you can basically just take this straight to this. Of course, I say that, but you know, shouldn't get too cocky. Not done yet. Sips and Strokes. I have not heard of that. What is that all about? Tell me. Tell me more. Oh, wait. Is that like a pub crawl draw thing? Because uh, I have heard of some of those. And I've always wanted to do one, but I've always been too nervous. Because it's like, man, you know, I'm, I'm not that good. People are going to want to see what I'm doing. Because I'm going to be friendly. And I'm going to have to tell them. Oh, I suck. Or maybe that's not at all what you were talking about, and I'm rambling. Oh, you know what? Actually, we have something similar in our neck of the woods. Um, I forget what it was called, but it was something similar where, yeah, they, they provide you a canvas and some paints, and it, it was like a wine tasting aspect to it as well, I think. Uh, so that was that was fun. Not, not too big on drinking anymore, actually. Uh, it's not been super appealing to me recently. So I think I like the idea of this sort of sneaking through and coming towards us. So I gotta remember to try to add and the light over here as well. And I want to indicate a crease there. And then, let's, before I go too much farther there, let's try to clean up some of these edges. Because uh, they're starting to distract me slightly. Starting to make this a little tougher. Actually, I think I had a much more interesting shape happening here before. Maybe I should try to recreate that real quick. Because, uh, Inevitably, I find that as I go with this kind of stuff, my uh, I, I lose a lot of energy and everything sort of stiffens up slightly. Yeah, that's, that little curve there is uh, that's nice. I like that. Kind of gives it a bit of more motion, like it's kind of whipping up and forward slightly. Oh, what's happening? There we go. Wrong tool. a little better. Yeah, let's move on to this big mess. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about this shape. It's kind of, even when I sketched it, it's kind of all over the place and, I don't know, kind of weird. I might, uh, might settle for something more simple. But, uh, let's clean it up first and see if it's got some potential to be interesting. I think at this point I just sort of got 
distracted when I was sketching and uh, I was just kind of having fun making all these different weird tentacle shapes. Stopped really paying too much attention to what I was doing. Yeah, let's see. It's so different from all the others. I think that's my problem with it. I don't want it to be distracting. Hmm. You could take kids to the... Yeah, see, that, that, that'd be so much fun. I like seeing kids, you know, trying to do, you know, drawing and painting and stuff, because I think they they just sort of lack that inhibition that you sort of develop as you, you know, get older. So much more creative. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think it, it might not be too distracting, but I'm just, bleh, not crazy about it either. Well, clean it up. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Like, trying to come up with all these weird curving shapes and stuff. Oh, man. It was a good time. I highly recommend that everyone go play with some tentacles today. That's what I have to say. Okay. I'm going to try and quit Ugh, jerking around so much. I feel like I'm not getting anything done. I'm going to start being a little bit faster and talking ever so slightly less. Oh, yes. Yes, please do show me your art. And I'm sure it's not that cringeworthy. I've seen some of the stuff you put up. It's not bad. Actually, like, I like it quite a bit. It's got sort of more of a graphic feel to it, where it's uh, almost like a flat design, kind of. Yeah, it's super cool. Oh, I can get rid of that now. So what's happening here? Oh. Oh, geez. Okay, yeah, what is happening here? That's a good question. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're laughing about. I mean, I'm just trying to give you some, some good advice right now. I think you should go play with some tentacles. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -mm -mm. What is happening? I'm not sure what I was thinking, but I have totally uh, done a weird thing here, and I'm not sure... Okay, okay, so there was actually meant to be a line over here. Right. Okay, yeah, so then if this hooks up right here, that's not so weird. I don't know what I was thinking. That doesn't look too weird at all. Although I don't like the way this is right now, just because it looks like it looks like it's thinner, like circumference-wise. I thought it was gonna. It looks like it's weirdly flat compared to this. It looks a little more thick and juicy. So I want to push this shadow, or that midtone even. Push that up slightly. Nope, the midtone. Thank you. Push it up. And that should be right. And... Uh, man, got the same problem over here. Maybe this whole uh, line. Circumference, you hate that word? What? Oh, it's math, though. Math is great, guys. I know... I, I mean, I personally have had pretty awful experiences with math, so... You know, I totally get it, but... Oh, man, math is great. Calculus, it's a good time. Yeah, circumference. A lot of people struggle with math, but I think it's just like art, you know? It's tough, but if you're willing to spend the time and be honest about your lack of knowledge and just try to seek out, you know, seek out people who can teach you and people who are passionate about it, I think you'll, you'll find it's, you know, everything that people do has a, a world of, hmm, a world of uh, depth to it, you know, if, you, if you're willing to explore that. Yeah, Laura's all about math, see? And Laura's cool. So, by the transitive property of cool, y'all should do some more math.
Hmm. So I think this is kind of a weird shape as well. I'm not super crazy about what's happening here. But I didn't call you uncool. I'm just saying, you know. I didn't like math either. I'll tell you what, actually, I'll tell you a little personal story. I actually got put in like a special needs classroom when I was in, I don't know, some lower grade because they were like, oh man, this guy's an idiot. He's got some sort of ADD. I would not do math at all. Like I just refused at one point. I just quit participating in math class at, you know, altogether. And I never really appreciated uh, any of that until I actually got to college and you know, I had to take a calculus course as part of my major, and I was thinking, this is going to be awful, this is going to totally suck, I hate my life. And at first it was awful, but my teacher was really enthusiastic, she was really excited about the subject, and she knew that people, you know, sort of traditionally struggle with it. And, uh, you know, she was very sympathetic. But, uh, you know, I walked out of that class actually, actually appreciating math as something that can be really interesting uh, especially in like a practical situation you know there's all sorts of things uh, like when you're building you know it's a lot of fun to figure out how big something needs to be oh Cassie has linked me some of her art I will look at that real quick oh yeah from 2012 though it's it's been a while not a big deal you gotta, you gotta forgive yourself I'm sure there's some sort of adorable Disney quote I could say here about, you know, leaving the past in the past, but I don't know that much Disney, so. Actually, not crazy about Disney. Yeah, four years? You, you know, like I said, I only really started taking this stuff seriously, like, a year ago. And I feel like I made some pretty good progress, so. You know, if you started taking classes, started talking to mentors, I, I have no doubt at all that... Uh, you could really develop some serious skill. The hard thing, I think, is just, uh, f you know, figuring out, like, what to study and getting good advice because there's so many people that, you know, have just been doing it for long enough that they don't really remember what it's like to be a beginner. Uh, so, you know, they want to give you advice kind of in terms of what they're thinking about right now and the stuff that they have to focus on in order to do a good job. It doesn't help you necessarily. I feel like I've had that problem quite a bit. Yeah, and, and I understand the... You know what? Here, I'll share. I'll share some of my stuff, too, that I'm not proud of, because I think that would be a, a neat experience. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, here's that from pretty recently. You know, I'm not happy with that. Like, especially this face of the, on this side of things. Like, that's not good. That's not proportioned at all. Like, super cartoony and weird. I'm just not crazy about it. Uh, what else? Yeah, let's, let's go through some of my old stuff. I think that would be fun. Um, oh, I have a file called Archive. Or folder, even. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's see, the date on this is, yeah, 20, uh, 12, 29, 15. So this would have been probably, yeah, this is my first piece that I tried, uh, you know, digitally painting. You know, you can see I've, I've come quite a long way. You know, and I did it all weird. I did it like in just black and white first, and then tried to add color on top of that, and that... He looks all weird and plasticky. None of this makes any sense. His face is all sorts of screwed up. Like, you know, I, I've struggled too, for sure. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, oh, God. Uh, so bad. Holy crap. Yeah, you want to talk about cringeworthy. There you go. That is... I do not like looking at that. Uh, 
And I was weirdly obsessed with, like, um, doing everything in black and white originally. But then, actually, you know what I did? Um, I can recommend a... Um, website, if I can remember what it's called, uh, CG Cookie. I'll put that in the chat so you can see it. CG Cookie. Oh, not copy. That's uh, that's the wrong kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I'd recommend that if you have the cash. I, I did like a one month subscription to them and I learned so much. Um, like every day just doing lessons, watching their videos. Um, I found that really helpful. You know, like I never would have practiced um, this, right? This sort of like palette thingy where I'm, you know, I'll close in these old ones real quick. I don't want to burden my old computer too much. Um, but like trying to get these colors to look right, um, and shifting colors as well as shading. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you're, you know, serious about trying to improve, I think, uh, they're, they're really cool in the sense that, you know, you, you can actually kind of work a little bit closer with them and, and ask some questions, um, you know, during the live streams and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, there, there's, there's definitely people out there willing to help. Uh, let's see what else. Oh uh, yeah, this is pretty, pretty not so good. <laughs> like, I, I I like the concept, very action packed. Uh, trying to abuse, I man, I was abusing the heck out of some perspective, and I've gotten way more tame since then because I just can't reliably pull that off. Um, yeah, charcoal, dude, charcoal's so hard. Like, I don't. I don't even mess with that. Too tough. Too tough for me. Uh, oh, okay. You guys about to see some really cringeworthy stuff. No! <laughs> oh, don't look at it. Oh, man. That's so bad. What? What is this? So there's a line art layer. But then, I don't know what's happening with all this stuff. Ugh. Yeah, see, right? Like, no good. No good at all. And that's right after I did uh, this other one that I thought came out, like, way better. Uh, let me see if I can find that one. They, they were supposed to be part of the same same thing. Yeah, like, that's, you know, weird as hell. Like, oh my god, what's happening with his legs? Those are not... Mm -mm, mm -mm. That is not how a human body works at all. I guess maybe if that was, like, a dwarf, but even then... Ugh. Right? I'll go back. You want to see the other one? <laughs> I don't want to show the other one. I don't want to do that. Oh, wait. You trying to screenshot it? I'm mad. I bet you are. I know you, Crystal. I won't give you the chance. So, you know, I, I've got art that I'm not proud of either. So, it, it's just one of those things. Um... As long as you... Ah, I knew it. Screenshot my cruddy stuff. Yeah. As long as it's something you're enjoying, right? That's the big thing. Um, I think that's the biggest lesson I've learned so far, is just, if you are not enjoying what you're doing, there is not a point to doing it. You will just frustrate yourself. You're going to quit having fun really quickly. And, you know, it's just not... It's not worth beating yourself up over because it's so easy to get frustrated. Um, I mean, that that would be my my most confident advice that I could give. Yeah, I would be happy to give you some tips if you want to send me. Actually, you know what? If you want to send me um, send me it real quick, if you think you can, I think I'll end this uh, this. I'll wrap this up with maybe trying to critique your your piece if you like. Um, so that you can actually see what I'm talking about and I'll like draw all over it and uh, all that good stuff. I think that'd be neat. I'm gonna try it out. How's that sound? And I'll just close this for now. 
open up a little thing, mess around while you while I'm waiting for the latency to catch up so you can respond. That is one thing I'm not crazy about, uh, right, with the streaming situation. Oh, it's a sketch right now? That's okay. You could still show me your sketch if you want. I would be happy to take a look at it, but if not, that's okay too. I'm not going to make you do nothing you don't want to do. See, that's what I should be doing. I should be track trying to practice my circles. Because every time I use this uh, tablet, it like adjusts its speed to my screen size. So like up and down, don't move at the same speed like left to right. Oh my goodness. So tough to get used to. Uh, I'll doodle a little doodle while we're waiting for Cassie to respond. Like I said, if you want to take, if you want to look at your sketch, that's cool. I'll do that for you. But uh, don't feel like you have to. It's totally up to you. Let's see if you can find it. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on with this cartoon guy, but <laughs> I think I kind of like it. It's pretty goofy. It could still be a girl. Maybe with these big buck teeth, it's like a, a redneck lady or something. It'd be kind of funny. Overalls or something, maybe. Um, oh, here's a neat trick I learned for hair, by the way. Uh, so I like to do this nowadays, cause, uh, especially like for anime type hair. It seems to work really well. Put a dot way outside the, the shape of the head, and then you make your hair shapes all connect to that. And uh, that seems to really help for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why that works. Um, but it, it was like night and day for me. Because um, that anime style I just really uh, tend to struggle with. So then, at the top, I take all this stuff off and... Take off the headline. It starts resembling something. Dude.
Oh, Cassie, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. That's, that's, I'm not going to make you sketch it out or anything. It's not a big deal. Do you find it later and you want to send it to me? That's cool. I will still be happy to take a look at it. So, no worries. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is goofy as heck. Got an undercut situation going on, maybe. I'm just kind of messing around at this point. I think I'll probably go ahead and uh, leave it off here. But uh, thank you guys for coming and checking it out. So I will catch up with you another time.